Hey everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Queen's Wish the Conqueror. We are uh, all revived and healthy enough again to continue adventuring. Uh, Experience-wise, well, we still need quite a bit more for the next level up. But we can report our success. Uh, was there something we did for you? No, I don't think so. But we did uh, reclaim that the quarry and drive the drake away, so... That's good, I guess. Thorshus is gone. Chief Gervin is openly envious. Oh, if only I had the toys and training your royals get. The toys and training? I mean, okay. I've been in a lot of scraps, but drake hunting? <laughs> that sounds glorious. The trophies you must have on your wall. Yeah, except that we didn't actually... Well, I suppose we did slay one drake, so... Well, whatever. Anyway, as promised, the roads are already safer. It's progress. Any advice for where to go next? Hmm, this region is under control. I wouldn't ask you to waste time on it. However, I suspect you will want to be exploring more of the Vol and dealing with the people who are really in charge. The capital of Loyalist lands is Thablin. I would like to send envoys there. However, last time I tried, they were turned away at Thablin Pass. If you could get permission for them to go through, it would help. Uh, why go through there? Uh, because it's by far the, the shortest path, for example. I mean, everything else is just completely unreasonable. Uh, you can go to the council in Thablin and make them obey the treaty they signed with us. I can buy supplies, gather information, and help Fort West Bay be more profitable. Yes. So it's not why go through the pass instead of going somewhere else, but rather why go there in the first place. So, yeah, I mean, obviously. Duh. Uh, I mean, then again, I'm not planning to actually ally with, uh, with the Masha in Thablin. But still, I probably... I probably should at least visit them once and talk to them. I, mean, I, I don't really see them convincing me otherwise, but, you know, I should hear out both sides, I guess. I suppose. Anyway, and plus, you know, obviously it's a place in the game that I would like to check out just out of curiosity, if nothing else. Anyway, uh, what should I do if they try to stop me? They wouldn't. They actually want to see me. Ah, I can't answer that question. After all, it's diplomacy. The wrong answer can lead to a war. Or more war. Right. I mean, that's not going to happen, though. Right? Obviously, everything's going to be okay. And we also... Do we have... Yeah, we do have shops here. Because we do have some things to sell, I think. We definitely have this axe here. We have this torque that I don't need. Um, We have this extra armor. Although... Uh, I mean... Hold on a second. Obviously, she can use this one. Uh, there's one physical armor slotted in there, some bleed and poison resistance. I mean, needless to say that this is better armor. I guess I just didn't buy one for her because I wanted to save the money. And just to make extra sure, this does have a lot more physical defense, some... Uh, Extra magical defense. Yeah. Not the bleed and poison release, but we do get extra poison resist from this, plus two extra slots here. Um, so I was thinking about taking the augments out of this one and putting them into this periapt, but I suppose. Um, do we. Do we even. Want to keep this one, or do we sell this one as well? And maybe I'm going to hold on to it. Um, yeah, this one I think we can also sell, actually. So, I, yeah, I want to keep this as it is. In theory, I, since she should not be in melee combat as much, I might want to take out the physical armor and put in some extra magical armor to protect against, you know, at least magical range attacks. Of course, uh, physical damage reduction is going to help against arrows and stuff. Uh, yeah, but we then we need some extra augments for him. I mean, I guess I can put in this one, technically. Maybe I want to put in Curse Resist. Curse Resist and some armor. But we can't really... Wait, never mind, we can... Buy some runes here. We can't um, slot the runes in here, though, because we don't have a blacksmith, unfortunately. Well, okay, augments. 
assuming that augmentations go in here and not uh, not runes. Yeah, but we want. Uh, I I mean I don't know. Do I want evasion more than straight up damage reduction? Oh, we don't even have um, magical reduction. Oh, interesting. So you you can't even improve your magical armor at all. Oh, okay. Well, so much for that. In that case, may, maybe magical evasion, maybe physical evasion, even one of each. Hmm. I mean, physical attacks are a lot more common than magical attacks, at least so far. So maybe I'm gonna go with one physical evasion plus the curse resistance. Does that sound good? I think so. Yeah. Um, yeah. We we still need uh, a blacksmith to suck at them though. But we can't really buy anything interesting. Uh, bigger backpack. Yeah. Okay. Well. New robe. New cow. Can we not sell to you? No. Okay. Well, I don't know if I'm really going to have much of a use for this one then, ever. For example, do I prefer this over a 5% evasion for either damage type? I don't think so. So um, might as well just get rid of that right away. The hit chance, maybe I'm going to find a use for that once I get access to weapons with more slots in them. This one here, it does have an... A simple physical armor slot in there. Hmm. Well, yeah, this one I wanted to sell. It's tough. I think I want to take out the rune first. Again, unfortunately, I can't just do that. Uh, except smithy. This fort has one. Never mind. So, oh, is it actually here? Yep, sure enough. Okay, well, even better. So, we want to put that in there, and that one. Nice. And this one, I guess we're going to leave as it is. We're going to take this one out. No. Okay, well, I guess I paid 10 for it. Keep the ring. Keep this room here. And this one we can sell. Okay, sell that armor. All right, that should be inventory management, equipment management, out of the way for now. Save that, and let's see here. Okay, so the quest asked me to go to Thablin directly, not just to Thablin Pass. In that case, well, I want to save that for later. For now, we still have at least two things that we can do before we go either into uh, firmly Masha or uh, Rebel control territory. So I think I want to finally get Warmest Bowl out of the way. So we quick travel here and head on over. Band of Vol Warriors stalking me? So near the town? Okay. They're tracking your movements, watching you closely. They aren't soldiers. They are an armed band, dirty and sweaty from weeks out in the wastes. Uh, shout to them. When, they call, when you call out to them, they have a brief discussion. Several of them uh, seem to want to talk to you. Whatever they have heard about you, they approve, yet they stay in the distance. Uh, approach them. When you walk toward them, they move away. They can move much more quickly through these lands. I feel like we've had this very uh, encounter before. I thought maybe this time it would be different because uh, actually, oh, you know what? Warmest bowl is up here. Maybe I should have looked first. Wasted some time here. I hope that's not too bad. Yeah, there is warmest bowl. Another quarry, right? If I'm not mistaken. So yeah, anyway, I thought maybe uh, in the meantime my actions have given me a, a different reputation so that maybe this time they would actually want to talk to me, but nope, no such luck. Let's see here. Um, got this a long time ago. Those of rings. 
Uh, yes, he's offering you valuable resources in the hope of gaining favor with you. Well, he's going to be disappointed, but that's okay. Warmest Bowl is a quarry to the southeast. If you can clear some pests from it... Okay, that sounds extremely basic. We'll see. You enter Warmest Bowl, one of the, the vault's many quarries. It is their main source of wealth and prestige. Many of Sacramentum's most imposing buildings have foundation stones dug out in this pit. The quarry isn't abandoned. The paths are still clear and the carts are properly maintained. However, it's eerily empty. The only sound is the wind. Then you see someone. A person to the south is poking her head around the corner of the largest building. She waves and then disappears from sight. Okay, well, let's take that hint and talk to her, I guess. Worker quarters. Shala, presumably. The supervisor of the quarry is sitting near the fire, feet up on the table, drinking ale. Okay, so she she just waved to us and then ran inside and and slumped <laughs> slumped down on that chair. Um, her ears, uh, ears went. Her arms and legs bear recent lizard bites, and she has an old vicious scar on her eye. She leans forward to get a decent look at you. I'm Shala. I'm running the quarry. Best I. Wait, you're not Vol. She struggles to see you clearly. You're Haven, right? Aren't you the one who just signaled to a, for us to come here, or was that the other person there? Who knows? Um, yes, I'm a traveler from Haven. Let's, should we stay that humble? Mm, I mean, she seems to be a little bit uh, drunk right now, so maybe that's why she's not recognizing us, or she hasn't heard about us. Who knows? Let's actually state the facts. You lean forward so she can see the insignia on your chest. She squints. I guess that means something. I don't know. I just pound rocks. So Haven is back, huh? Why are you here, if you don't mind me asking? Mm, huh, I'm looking for poor innocent people to help. I mean, I suppose that's what I do. Tourism, <laughs> mainly, really. Uh, I, I'm trying to get more resources for my forts. I mean, I suppose that's the, the main in-game reason I'm here. Mm, well, we have good building stone here. Main thing we dig. I'll have to get permission from Vitasa to trade with Haven, though. Feel free to look around while I send a runner there. Just watch out for the lizards. Yeah, I mean, we've actually been sent here from Vitasa, but sure. I guess it makes sense that she would confirm. Uh, how are things doing in this quarry? Going in this quarry? Not good. The main work level is full of lizards. Small, fast, and vicious. We can work up here a little, but we can't, we can't get to where the good rock is. Where the lizards come from. We don't know. One day we saw one down there, small, fast, bitey, smashed it. Then think about it more. Next day we saw two, then four, then we couldn't go down there anymore. We're just diggers. We're no soldiers. We can't handle a swarm. Yeah, understandable. Uh, what do you mind for here? Good building stone. Limestone, mainly. Dig it, shape it, and ship it. Then you can make a house out of it. Who works here? Just good vol, not warriors. We don't want to fight. Just earn an honest living and stay out of debt. It's hard, dangerous work, but we stay together. No room for suspicion in a quarry. She scratches at the old scar on her face. Where'd that scar come from? Uh, one of my workers was careless. Dropped some rocks over the edge of the quarry. One hit me in the head. It was an honest mistake. He admitted to it. Took his flogging, and we're all peaceful now. Hmm, okay. Uh, how has the war affected you? Not much, I'm glad to say. We're far from the fighting. We're all free here. Here, we are, we are all free. No, no Owen, no Masha. We're not wealthy enough to rob. We're just trying to earn our keep. Um, are there really no Owen here? No. A lot of Owen fleeing the south come here. We give them a good meal, directions north, and send them on their way. Uh, once they reach Havenlands, they're free. And good luck to them. Hmm, okay. Like that attitude. Uh, who owns the quarry now? It is owned by the governor, Alistair Masha of Vitasa. We work the stone, sell it, and keep half the coin for our own lives. He gets the rest. Hmm, so how's that going to work then once we take this over? I guess he took, he basically gave us half of those earnings. Um, or his half of, of, the, of the earnings as a gift and hope to gain our favor. How awfully nice of him. Uh, well, okay. Quarry worker, hi. Talk to Shala. I just did. Didn't you see? Here? So, I mean, according to her words, there should be no enemies on this top level here, let alone in the buildings. Unsurprisingly, we cannot take that. That's okay. Also, I just remembered, we did get this skill, but never put it there. You put that there. Yeah, I just forgot about that. 
Um, find stone evaluation and working. Okay, here it goes downstairs. Okay, so much for that. Some leaping lizards, scorpion. Well, we've dealt with plenty of these in the past. Mm. Just start by attacking. These things seem to be relatively weak. 65 hit points, level 10. Hmm, I mean, they are level 10. Okay, this one has 100 hit points, like the enemies in uh, the Drake's Lair last time. Just go with a normal blessing. Okay. Should I do something? Some crowd controlling, basically, to keep them off our backs for a bit longer. Yeah, maybe the scorpion so he doesn't poison. And he's also... Well, that was a critical, so... Oh, he, wait, he is stunned. I, mean, I, I thought he resisted that. Never mind. I can take a step here and actually attack them all. Ah, oh, of course. Scorpion evaded. Oh, well. Hmm... Step back, check that lizard. I would like to... Okay, well, that worked. In fact, yeah. Uh, well, never mind. Two damage, okay. It's not so bad. Evaded. It's going pretty well so far. 41 damage. Three damage. Hmm... Let's finish this one off, just to get it out of the way. You can do another one of these. Okay. That went all right. Oh, hey, and it was not even for nothing. I got some wood. Oh, well. Not exactly the most valuable of resources. North Axis Shaft, okay. And some, well, quite a few more lizards. They really don't like Kallak a whole lot. Not quite sure why. Let's do one of these. Self buff. Okay. Oh god, okay. I mean, not okay at all. Yeah, you have to heal. Not as much as I would like. Hmm. Enemy slows me, I know. Alright, okay, this strikes me as pretty efficient. Step back. Hmm, yeah, let's just hit those four and maybe even kill them. Uh, I mean, with the poison. And bleeding in some cases. Oh, that's that was satisfying. That was very nice. And you can do one of these. Oh man, okay. Such a good fight. <laughs> Didn't start out very very good with uh, Kalik almost dying there, but I kind of like how it ended. We get some stone and some money. Okay, what is this? Storage shed. Shot by a massive oak beam. Hmm. Okay. So that's probably gonna open once we're done with this place. Now, do I. We have several uh, down staircases here. Let's just start with this one. Because why not? They might all be connected in the end. Anyway. You walk out into the main level of the quarry, where most of the good limestone is dug out and shaped. There are no workers down here now. There is, however, a profusion of lizard tracks and drying scales. The wool workers have been evicted by an infestation of pests. Yes, well, we knew that. Okay, there's a chest over there. Some, I don't know, those are just supposed to be lizard eggs? Looks somewhat, somewhat insect-like to me. Okay, we just get a bunch more of these. A bunch more. Most of which are skipping their turns for some reason. Oh, oh okay, one is coming. Game is always is taking its sweet time. And above. 
Oh, so now they're leaping. Didn't they all just skip their turns earlier? Who knows? Hmm. Yeah, since the skill costs two, I feel like I have to hit at least like four of them at once for it to really make um, for it to really be worth it. Why don't we go ahead and I don't know, do a hit, heavy hit on this one? Oh wow, that was a one shot. Nice. Yeah, they they only have what sixty one hit points, sixty five actually. So that was uh, just right. I'll just keep doing this for only one mana. It's or one energy. It's so so worth it every single time. Yeah, taking some damage here. Those lizards down there really are not interested in getting involved. Well, Fifteen crit, huh? Okay. I was kind of hoping that this lizard might not get an attack off at all. No such luck. Hmm. I doubt that we can shoot you from there. Well, that's good enough. Uh, except that we evaded and he teleports upstairs. Uh, upstairs, well, up to us, north, northward, I suppose. I want to heal you. Um. Okay. Well. Really, uh, are we done sometime soon? Let's see if we can one shot this one as well. Almost, but he is bleeding. Uh, seven damage, though. Uh, might not work out. Oh, you know what? That's gonna work out perfectly. Why do they act so quickly? Could you please stop it? Kind of banking on them dying before they could do anything. Plus, Kithara getting her turn to heal Atentuo, but nope. But that being said, our energy is actually looking pretty, pretty good. Should probably getting uh, be getting one back, two even. Okay, yeah. So far, that's actually going very well. Easily heal again here. Save the game. Let's see. Okay, we got fire lizards. All right. Uh, are they coming after us? It looked like they were. I don't think they were actually, but that's fine. This is not so fine. Have a shock spell. Forty-six damage. Not bad at all. One hundred and two hit points. I'm gonna try and stun this one. There we drop the first. Well, in that case, I suppose we don't really need to stun it. Although, maybe it would otherwise get a turn in. Uh, yeah, you can do a heavy blow on this guy. He's He should be dying. Probably. Shock. Died. Okay, that was just enough. Now we need someone to get an attack off. Okay. Good. Good. Game. Some money and stone. Of course. Oh. Lizard Broodmother. Well, that would explain where they all come from. Is that actually already the boss of this dungeon? Hmm. In that case, thinking of the scorpion situation last time, we want to wait before we uh, kill that one. Unless the quest involves actually clearing out all of the lizards, which I suppose would make sense. Heavy attack on you. 
got some more coming this way. Oh. Hmm. Okay, good. Shock. Oh. Okay. Are you going to come here? Uh, I should probably do some healing, although no one's really critical, I guess. He's missing enough to be worth it. Hmm. Oh, wow. Really? You have to walk that far? That's not going to work. Okay. All right. Maybe I should not have put her in harm's way like that. How silly of me. There are quite a few more than I anticipated somehow. Okay. Well, this should not be a major problem. I want to probably slow them somewhat. There's another... Is that right? Or is that... Oh, no. That's maybe... The daddy. Lizard daddy. Okay, hold on. Um, I should probably have... Should probably have... Um, buffed. Okay, thankfully she's pretty well armored and good at dodging things too, so... It's not as bad as it could be. Could finish off this one, or maybe take a chance and uh, try to one-shot one of them. That would require a really good roll, though. Hmm. If I had her step up here, maybe I should. Maybe I could do one of these in a very efficient manner. Reasonably efficient. Uh. One step further away, and it would be extremely good. Like this. Well, it hits five of them. I suppose that's pretty good. Now, if Tanto could get another turn, that would be amazing. Let's see here. You know what? This is also pretty good. Okay, I'm going to die from poison. Those both did. Evaded. Very good. Evaded. Um. Oh yeah, you need to heal yourself. Maybe it would have been worth healing. Nah, no. Group healing wasn't necessary. Okay, can we please do this? Of course, one would evade. Okay, how tough is this one? We cannot see. Of course not. And combat? Oh, uh, okay, well. 204, okay, so it's really not that big of a deal. Uh, do we slow you down? I think we do. Okay. Tried hasting itself, but still got an attack. That's a little bit annoying. I'm gonna use a heavy attack on you. 52 damage. And bleeding twice. Very good. It's about as good as you can ask for. We'll heal you. You're gonna approach the drake, uh, not drake, the lizard like this. Buff yourself. Um, poisoning, hardly worth it. I think I'm just gonna go with single target shock spells here for pretty decent damage. And a chance to apply bleeding, of course. And it's going down too quickly to really warrant buffing us. 16 damage there. Blow and it's dead. Okay. Not so bad. Energy back. Yeah, we're really managing to preserve our energy quite well here, I must say. Pretty happy with how we're managing our resources. Now, before I approach the Broodmother, who most likely is going to be the, the crucial enemy here to take out. Oh. Oh, interesting. We have to approach this from the other side. Are there 
lizards on the other side? I mean, there shouldn't be. Maybe it's another door that's uh, that needs to be unlocked from the other side first. We could have approached the entire dungeon from down here. And, okay, actually that was all of them. Looks like. So I'm just going to quickly check out what's up with this. That does lead to the other side here. Oh, there are some lizards. Okay. Huge lizards. Not as huge as the, the actually huge lizard. Wasn't that also just called a huge lizard? Am I crazy? Huh. Okay. They decided not to do anything. Bless. <laughs> now they move. Okay. Self buff. Uh, seemed to me to be worth it. Oh, they are actually fire lizards. I right. Not leaping lizards. That's okay though. They decided not to do anything. Uh, okay. Unfortunately, not dead because. You good. Now oh, they're starting to move. Heavy hit, ninety-one damage. Bleeding. He took a crit in return, but not bad at all. You know what? I'm not going to uh, use another poison rain here, even though it would probably still be worth it. Instead, I'm going to hope that. Luca's gonna get her turn, like so, and that she can then do this. In fact, if she takes one extra step, she, sh she might be able to get them all, I think. Yes. Okay, they're not dead, but they are bleeding and poisoned. This one is poisoned and bleeding twice, so it's probably dead. 17, yes, that should definitely be dead. 17, but only one stack each. Uh, except, wait, we can't do this. Definitely don't want to get uh, fire breath into the party. But this fire lizard should be dead. He took some damage, didn't get to attack, so we should be fine. Yep, yeah, he just died from his debuff. Very good. Oh, ah, just end combat. Switch weapons back so I don't forget. No loot here, but there is this one. Of course. A curse rune. Curse duration. Okay. Um, curses. I mean, probably only interesting to you. A little slow. And maybe poison. I, I really should just look it up. What the game considers to be a curse. If that includes damaging debuffs. Anyway. We're in pretty decent shape here, so I'm not too worried about this one. Uh, the, this lizard is far, far larger than any of the others you have found. She is also a caring and devoted mother. She's surrounded by large clutches of eggs, and she has adopted this quarry as the place to raise her brood. When she sees you, she hisses and lunges forward, eager to harvest meat for her babies. You note with a sinking feeling that some of the eggs around her are starting to vibrate. So, in other words, kill her very quickly. That's not the right button to press. What, about, what was I even trying to do here? That button. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, 584. Yep, that's pretty tough. Uh, physical damage bonus 1. 90% stun resist, 80% mental resist. Pretty typical for boss type monsters. Okay, she used herself. Blessed herself too. We evaded. Nice. Good stun. I don't know if she can breathe fire or anything. But just in case, I'm gonna have him step up here. Bless himself. Vicious Strike. We made her bleed. Very good. We have the rest of the party stand back. And we're actually going to slow her. Okay. We actually turned her self-haste into a, into a slow. That's very good. This is most likely not going to work, but I'm going to try and confuse her. Well, we did manage to... Oh, I uh, really did not expect her to shift her focus to her, but okay. I mean, she is now weakened, uh, slowed twice, and bleeding. That's a 
really good start, I think. I'm gonna use our good blessing and haste. I'm gonna have you maybe reduce her armor. Evade it. Oh well, that sucks a lot. Well then, just attack. Maybe weaken her further, or she evades again. That's cool too. Not really. Um, there, have some poison, lady. Good. Uh, you step back. I guess we'll just keep trying this. Slow, confused, and weakened. Wow. Okay. Get wrecked. 27, and she's further weakened and bleeding. Oh my god, we're actually tearing her apart here. You know what? Uh, let's just go with uh, heavy blows. 71 damage. Pretty decent. Okay, there she summons some leaping lizards. Okay, he's stunned. That's annoying. Um, why don't I try doing this? Too far away, huh? That works. That should keep those lizards busy for at least one turn. Now you should be able to... Wait. Do I... I, I keep... No, they, these are all the skills we have. Uh, disruption, healing wave. Yeah, we, we just cannot cure non... No, wait, this is negative effects. What, what am I saying? Of course. Right? No, the stun does, is not curable. Okay, well, whatever. That's fine. If you evaded one attack, oh, get crit though to make up for it. Hmm. Heavy blow, just kill this brood mother quickly before she can summon more little ones. Tonto unfortunately skipped his turn there. Health-wise, we're looking fine, so that's good. 34, which is strikes. Gonna save my spell points to deal with the lizards, I think. Okay, there they come. It's knocked back. Thankfully, it doesn't really phase her at all. And that should be the kill, maybe? Yes, nice. The Broodmother has been slain. The process of reclaiming this quarry can begin. Perhaps Haven can somehow get some of the stones produced here. You will need them to rebuild your forts. Well, I suppose technically, although we really have all the all the stone in the world. Are these weaker? No, they're just normal. Okay. One last shock spell. How unusual to have the healer remain with the most uh, the most energy left. Everyone regains one point, and she can actually go ahead and heal everyone full. Look at that. Emerald ring, bleed resist, poison resist. Hmm. Good chance, magical damage. And healing bonus. So the only one I would even briefly consider replacing is the extra hit chance. Bleed and, I mean, that's 20% bleed and poison resist. It's not bad. But the only one that's really that that kind of ring really makes sense on is the tank. And I kind of want him to deal damage. So I think I'm going to pass on this one. I'll take some extra coins though. All right, nice. Let's uh, talk to the workers, tell them the good news, and see if we can, if they all have that building unlocked for us right away. Uh, I read you of those lizards in the quarry. Well, it's our great luck that you came here. We need the go the good stone to earn enough to pay f uh, to pay our to pay ourselves. Pay ourselves? Okay, sure. Uh, I have also had a message from Vitasa. The governor wanted us to know that when we're producing good stone again, uh, to send it to Fort West Bay. Looks like he really wants to impress you folks. Yep. I don't really know why, but 
Fine by me. Can you unlock the storeroom for me? <laughs> hmm? uh, well, all right. Help yourself. I'm sure the governor would want us to make you happy. You're important. Right. You got that right. And we get some stone, some money, and some iron. Sure. All right, that was nice and successful. Um, definitely a bit of an easier one for a change. Although I can't help but wonder how much of you no, know, how much of the the perceived difficulty of each dungeon has to do with just the you know the luck with the dice rolls, because obviously I don't know the first couple of encounters here in here went super super well, then it went not so good for a time, and then it became pretty smooth sailing again. But I mean, I guess it's it's pretty uh, pretty clear to see and to say that. Um, the boss, the brood mother, was not nearly as bad as the the Drake, for example, over in the Drake pit. Also, those all those snakes uh, constantly poisoning us. Yeah, so that was that one was just just tougher in general. Still, I feel like there is quite a bit of randomness to it for each one of these. Now, um, I suppose we talk to Alistair again. Uh, I have retaken Warmer's Bowl. Quest advanced, not finished. Yes, the citizens here sent word. As promised, that quarry is ready to begin sending stone to Fort West Bay. I hope you remember this offering when making your decisions in the future. Oh, I, I will. Oh, I, I think Haven deserves extra tribute for doing your dirty work. I mean... I am planning to basically... Well, not, not exactly double-cross him, because I never promised him anything. But uh, I don't think I want to be that much of a jerk. Sure, it's accepted. And it's not the only one. We have a second offering for you. Oh, do you? Uh, what other offerings do you have? There is a place of some traditional significance to the southwest. It is called the Scorpion Pit. Oh, okay, that would have been the, the uh, target of a quest. I guess that makes sense. As you might guess, there are a lot of scorpions there. Alas, at some point in the rebellion, they all got loose. There is also a lot of treasure there, in various forms. If you clear out the scorpions, you may take all of the vault's wealth there that you find. Been there, done that. Um, okay. Tell me about the scorpion pit. It is a highly honored place of justice. It is where the northern vaults condemned have been taken for executions for centuries. Its loss was quite a blow to us. We all are very serious about making sure that justice is done and is done in line with our traditions. Why is there so much treasure there? When the condemned are captured and taken to the scorpion pit, it is traditional that they leave an offering there before their demise. It lets them regain some honor, and it also buys a swifter end. Really? Um, you think that that depends in large, uh, to a large degree, uh, on the scorpions, and they don't count, they don't strike me as uh, being corrupt. <laughs> Anyway, uh, I'm, s I'm sure some of those valuables are there, eager to be your property. Mm -hmm. uh, why don't you clear it out yourself and then give me the treasure? Uh, please understand, Prince, I honor Haven greatly. Not all do. I honor Graven Haven greatly. Not all do. If you restore one of our sacred places to us, that will help me to convince my allies to help you. Then we can be your vessel again and we can all get rich. Yeah, yeah. Right, because that's obviously the most important thing in life. Uh, do I need to kill all of the scorpions? I hope not. We need some of them to uh, some of them left to deal with the condemned. Just pair their numbers back and get rid of those who escape the pit. This should be adequate. Yeah. I agree. Um, well, I you know what? When I think about it, uh, I actually cleared out the scorpion pit already. You tell the governor of the jail, he is quite pleased. I will make sure all hear of this blow you struck the vol for vault tradition and justice. When you journey to Theblin, our council will be grateful. Also, you should expect less banditry on our roads, now that thugs have one less pit to hide in. Please keep any treasures you find there as our offering. Sure, it's accepted once again. I'm so glad. Any more offerings for me? <laughs> Alas, our meager resources have been exhausted. I do have good news for you. If... Uh, if it is tribute you want, Theblin is not a long journey to the west. Go there and meet our council. They have so much to offer you in return for but a little military aid. Right. So, that is now officially his quest, is it? Wait. Alice's offerings? Oh, okay. Now the quest was advanced, but then completed. Okay. Fair enough. 
Well then, uh, we wanted to sell this ring, but that's pretty much it. Right, and we want to store this away for later. Um, well, I guess I'm gonna end the episode here. There was one, there's one quest done. Why did I actually? Huh? Oh, there's a bold tones person right there. Trade with you. Sell something. There you go. The words were nothing. Super interesting. Okay. Um, oh, we're not actually rested though. So I guess I'm gonna stay at the inn here next time, and then we're probably going to head on over to check out Castle Andesite, finally. I guess we haven't really approached it completely yet, because it's not uh, not discovered to quick travel, so we might discover something on the way there, but it uh, looks like there is not a whole lot of room for anything major, but we'll see. Uh, but yeah, that's pro probably where we're going to head next. Um, although I really should not be uh, saying these things. But, I mean, this time I see very little chance for us to actually get distracted. But we'll see. Uh, as always, I thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please hit the like button. Hit the like button. Oh, my God. Um, uh, hit the like button. Uh, leave a comment. And I shall see you real soon. There we go. Bye-bye. <laughs>